I'm Connor Delaney. I'm Chief of Colorectal Surgery at University Hospitals Case Medical Center, and I chair our Digestive Health Institute there. The biggest new trend in, in really all of surgery, everything from ear, nose and throat surgery to general surgery to colorectal surgery, is the concept of moving to minimally invasive surgical approaches. So doing the same operations that we used to do through big incisions, which often caused a lot of pain and took quite a while to get over and recover from. We can now do the same operations with very tiny incisions and uh, that means the patient has less pain and that means they have an earlier recovery but we can do exactly the same operation. So part of the, the new approaches and using minimally invasive surgical approaches is that the operating perspective of the surgeon changes. And so that was one of the special things uh, when we looked at this Netter Atlas was that we had to bring a new approach. So it's not often the same frontal view uh, that has been classically taught anatomically and surgically. And so we had the opportunity with this book to come up with some new pictures and some new approaches uh, that a minimally invasive surgeon will see through the lens of a laparoscope or other, other tiny incision. Uh, for me personally, it was very satisfying because what I've always tried to bring to the surgery I do is a very precise anatomical dissection. And it's something that I think as surgeons really allows us to improve our outcomes. Uh, whether you're thinking of short-term outcomes for a patient recovering from surgery and trying to avoid complications or minimize them, or whether we're thinking about longer-term outcomes like curing cancer and making sure that we take out cancers in a well-encapsulated specimen but it comes down to anatomical precision. And so the opportunity to do a book like Netter Surgical Anatomy and Approaches uh, really allowed me to explore my interest in uh, the precision of surgical anatomy. I think the opportunity to use the Netter illustrations was uh, fantastic. Uh, the drawings are so beautiful and done by somebody who understood the clinical anatomy of what he drew so well uh, that the chance to, to pair these drawings with a description of the operative approach uh, I think was a very special concept. And so what we've also managed to do is pair it with pictures of the operations, pair it with certain drawings that are new for the newer surgical approaches, and then also some imaging. Uh, x-rays and MRIs to try and bring to life the pathology and also the operation. Well, I think there's a great audience for this book. Um, I think practicing surgeons will enjoy this. Uh, it will bring depth uh, to their anatomical understanding of operations uh, and just see the meta images paired with the operative description in a way that hasn't really been done before. And we've been able to look at everything from transplant surgery to ear, nose and throat surgery. So it's really brought a lot of different areas of surgery to life. And so I think it'll be useful both for surgical uh, surgeons in practice, uh, but also for fellows and residents who are training, and perhaps they'll get the most use uh, from it. And I'm sure there's be some medical students who'll be interested uh, as well. So I think it will have broad appeal both within the US and also internationally because these operations are pretty much the same whatever country they're done in. Well, being asked to do this book was a great honor, but it was obviously something I couldn't do on my own. So uh, this translated into a very special opportunity to include my colleagues uh, at University Hospitals Case Medical Center and at Case Western Reserve University. And so what we did was we put together a, really a faculty for this book. Uh, with an expert in content in each area, uh, vascular, general surgery, colorectal, ENT. Uh, and then we had the chapters written uh, by faculty within these areas, by experts within these areas. So it's been a very special opportunity to put together the anatomy and the surgery, uh, and then also to work with a group of very experienced clinicians to come up with what I hope is a, a fairly unique product.